Welcome back to Solve Math. Yes, and our topic is still addition and subtraction of integers using the number line. Good, we'll be able to tackle question one, and it was so so easy. I believe you, uh, you enjoyed it. Good. Now let's tackle question two. Please pay critical attention. Good. Here, what do we have? We have 10 minus negative 3. 10 minus negative 3. As I said, by now, you should know how to draw the number line. So you have your number line drawn. Good. Good. In the middle, you label what? 0. So you toss your right are positives. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Pay critical attention. 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, as I said, it will go on to even 15, 16, it will not change our results. Towards our what? Our left, our negatives. So we have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8, and negative 9. As I always say, it can continue to be negative 10, 11, negative 12, negative 13. It will not change anything. Provided we are able to locate our integer on the number line. That is all. That is what we want over there. So we have 10 over here. Minus, minus 3. Remember, there is a particular rule in integers. What does it say? Anytime you have two minuses closer to each other, it turns into what? Positive. That's plus. So let's apply that principle here. Good. So with this, it becomes what? 10. The minus minus becomes what? Plus. So plus what we have here? 3. Simple as A, B, C, D. Mass is systematic, as I always say. So go its step by step. Good. Now let's solve it. 10. So we go and we stand on what? 10. Good. And plus 3. Plus meaning we are moving towards what? Our right. But how many times are we moving? It's what? 3 times. Good. So 10, we are moving 1, 2, 3. Where do we land on? We land on 13. So it means 10 plus 3 is equal to 13. Easy as A, B, C, D. Yes, I will leave this question for your last question 3 for you to solve on your own, okay? Negative 6 minus 4. And the rule is using the number line. Try and play around it, solve it, and finish me with the results. As I always say that, as the CEO of Jokan Educational Channel, I'm there to serve you. You can visit our various social media platforms on Facebook. We are Jokan Educational Channel. Kids Zone Solve Math. And indeed, I'll provide you with feedback. Also, you could subscribe to our channel on YouTube. That's Jokan Educational Channel. Or also on Jokan TV on YouTube. Let me have your answer. Solve it. Because it's when you solve math that you become good in math. So we meet for our next session. It's all about math. Adios.